Hi. Thank you for visiting with me. I appreciate that you took the time to stop by. Do you follow the golden rule and expect others to do so as well? What can we do to be loved and appreciated in the way that we deserve? And how do we recognize when somebody is using or abusing us and put a stop to it? Recently, I had to cut somebody out of my life who was being disrespectful, blaming me for his angry feelings and lack of control, and bullying me. Although this person was somebody I mostly interacted with online, it was still stressful and upsetting to be the victim of this kind of abuse. In a culture that encourages anonymous online lives, individuals can create identities that allow them to engage in socially unacceptable actions with no real consequences. More than ever, we need to be aware of the signs of potentially abusive relationships. That's what prompted me to talk about how to recognize abuse and set boundaries. In my video, How to Build a Relationship, I recommend constructing love relationships a step at a time and only moving forward when each step is complete and a strong bond is built. When you put in the necessary time and effort to create a long-lasting relationship, you demonstrate both how you treat another person and how you choose to be treated in return. During this building phase of the relationship, we need to be on the lookout for abusive behaviors. There is a pattern to abuse, and while it starts out subtle, as a victim is tested or groomed to accept abuse as a part of the relationship dynamic, it typically only increases in intensity until the relationship ends. The first time a partner belittles you, makes you feel bad about yourself, forces you to do something against your will, or harms you, needs to be the last time. When empty apologies, placing blame on you, and promises of change are quick to follow the abuser's actions, these should be the last red flags you need to walk away before you're caught up in the cycle and it becomes too late. When you no longer feel like the person you once were, or feel worse about yourself than you did before you met your partner, take it seriously. The best thing you can do is put distance between you and your abuser. The tendency to assert power through control of another communicates an unhealthy lack of control. Healthy people do not need to bolster their self-esteem by battering the significant people in their lives. If the behavior of your partner or any person in your life is bordering on abusive, it is time to set boundaries, discuss and enforce them. Once you get practice setting boundaries, you feel empowered, receive more respect, and your relationships improve. There are several areas where boundaries apply. 1. Material boundaries determine whether you give or loan things, such as your money, car, clothes, books, food, or other personal items. 2. Physical boundaries pertain to your personal space, privacy, and body. Do you give a handshake or a hug? To whom and when? How do you feel about loud music, nudity, and locked doors? 3. Mental boundaries apply to your thoughts, values, and opinions. Are you easily suggestible? Do you know what you believe and can you hold on to your opinions? Can you open-mindedly listen to someone else's opinion without becoming rigid, angry, or self-righteous? Number four, emotional boundaries. Distinguish separating your emotions and responsibility for them from someone else's. Healthy boundaries prevent you from giving unwanted advice, blaming, or accepting blame. They protect you from feeling guilty for someone else's negative feelings or problems and taking others' comments personally. 5. Sexual boundaries protect your comfort level with sexual touch and activity, including what, where, when, and with whom you engage in sex. 6. Spiritual boundaries relate to your beliefs and experiences in connection with God or a higher power. Love and respect are inspired by consistent boundaries which define who we are and how we wish to be treated by others. Follow these seven steps to ensure 
that your boundaries are defined. Number one, prioritize yourself. Think of rules and principles you live by when you say what you will or won't do or allow. If you have difficulty saying no, override your own needs to please others, or are bothered by someone who is demanding, controlling, criticizing, pushy, abusive, invasive, pleading, or even smothering you with kindness, it's your responsibility to speak up. Number two, know your rights. You have a right to privacy, to say no, to be addressed with courtesy and respect, to change your mind or cancel commitments, to ask people you hire to work the way you want, to ask for help, to be left alone, to conserve your energy, and to not answer a question, the phone, or an email. Number three, take responsibility for yourself. Healthy emotional boundaries require clear internal boundaries by knowing your feelings and your responsibilities to yourself and others. Internal boundaries regulate your relationship with yourself through self-discipline, time management, thoughts, emotions, behavior, and impulses. Revisit my video, Attune and Attract Women with Integrity, to get started in this process of understanding your own internal boundaries. Number four, drive your own vehicle. Have you ever had somebody honk at you from behind because they thought you should turn right on red light or they tailgate you because they want you to drive faster? And how does that make you feel? You are responsible for driving your own car. Clear boundaries help you stay in your own lane, take care of your own responsibilities and emotions, and allow others to do the same. When you're accountable for your feelings and actions, you don't blame others. And if others blame you for their lack of responsibility or push you to do what they want, you can confidently say, that's on you, or drive your own car and let me drive mine. Number five, be serious, strong, and confident. There's an art to setting boundaries. If it's done in anger or by nagging, you won't be heard and taken seriously. Boundaries are for your well-being and protection, and they're more effective when you're assertive, calm, firm, and courteous. Number six, choose not to abuse. Not only do boundaries keep others from using and abusing you, they also remind you not to abuse others. You won't wish to be micromanaged, and you won't want to reach beyond the scope of your boundaries to manage others unless your help and advice is specifically requested. Be an example of the golden rule and treat others the way you want to be treated. Then only accept the same respect in return. Which leads us to number seven. Actions have consequences. When you have clearly stated your boundaries and another person tests those limits, you must enforce consequences. That could mean ending a conversation, a date, or a relationship, depending on the severity of the abuse. When necessary, walk away to preserve your health, safety, security, or peace of mind. Don't make threats to get your way, but do what is required to maintain respect for yourself and others. I've walked away from relationships with people who have repeatedly attempted to use, demean, or insult me, and it was empowering to make that choice to find a better path. Those relationships were minor and ended early on. Don't make the mistake of putting up with abuse and continuing a relationship that is hurting you. Make your boundaries known and be prepared to move on if they're disrespected. Being alone is better than being in an abusive relationship, and the relationship you have with yourself is the most important one to maintain and uphold. Let me know if you've dealt with disrespect and abuse and if things improved for you after stating your boundaries, or tell me if you have a difficult situation in your relationship that you'd like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community receive bonus perks, and support my work, and take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up, then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me.
We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side.